Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff issues a lot of press releases to the media on Facebook and the Sheriff's Office website. Today we're going to update you on several cases the deputies have investigated and the charges were issued. To bring these cases to trial, we need to locate and arrest these fugitives. That's why I'm asking you for your help. Our first case goes back to January 2013. The victim in this case was at Ram's Head in Stevensville, where he received a call from one of his credit card companies. At that point, he realized his wallet was missing. Within hours, his cars were used at a lot of local businesses, the Shell Station in Stevensville, twice at the 7-Eleven in Chester, the Exxon in Chester, and several online websites. It was finally declined at Safeway in Chester, and there we were able to get several good pictures of the suspect. After making those surveillance tapes public, we soon realized that we had great citizens who identified the suspects. Attempts to interview the suspect were unsuccessful, but a warrant was then issued for Michael Timothy Bowen, who at the time had an address of 205 Chester Village here in Chester, Maryland. Bowen, who was working at a local restaurant, was fired after his employer confronted him about being the suspect. Michael Timothy Bowen is a white male, 48 years old. He's six foot two inches tall and weighs 180 pounds. Bowen is believed to have moved and his current address is unknown. If you have any information about Mr. Bowen's whereabouts, you're urged to contact our office or send me an anonymous tip. This is one guy we want arrested. Back in April of 2012, Deputies responded to Oyster Cove Drive in Graysonville for a report of a large fight in the parking lot. Upon arrival, deputies noted several persons running from the scene, as well as four or five vehicles leaving. One of the suspects, who remained at the scene, reported that Keith Audra Rich had pointed a black semi-automatic handgun at his face, as well as presented a large knife. Rich was later located in the area, as well as the vehicle registered to him, with a five-inch blade and a realistic-looking airsoft pistol. Rich and a co-defendant were arrested and charged with first and second degree assault, reckless endangerment, and a dangerous weapon. In July, Rich pled guilty to the weapon charge and was placed on supervised 18 months of probation. On April 30th, 2013, a violation probation bench warrant was issued by the district court. The probation agent comments included that Rich had absconded from supervision and hasn't been seen since September 13th, 2012. In addition, he failed to pay the court fines and probationary supervisory fees. He failed to work or attend school and complete his 40 hours of community service. If you have any information on Keith Audra Rich, who's 20 years old, five foot six inches tall, 240 pounds, has black hair and brown eyes, and is last known to live on Brownsville Road near Centerville. Rich in the past has listed his occupation as a waterman. He's local to the community and a lot of people know him from attending Queen Anne's County High School and some of his involvement with sports. If you have any information or you can get in contact with him, this is one issue he needs to clear up. On April 27, 2013, a taxi driver went to Big Bat's restaurant to pick up six subjects who were in various degrees of intoxication. The group then wanted to stop at a convenience store on Route 8. While there, four of the subjects got out and went into the store. With another call waiting, the driver asked the group to hurry up. One of the group members became hostile and struck the driver in the back of the head and on the side of his face. The two subjects still inside the taxi gave the driver $20 and the group then fled on foot. The driver also reported his iPhone was missing. Investigation resulted in locating two of the subjects and a suspect was identified as Gregory A. Myers. At the time of the assault, Myers was living in Millersville in Anne Arundel County. He's a white male, 23 years old, 5 foot 10 inches tall, 160 pounds. If you have any information about Mr. Meyer's whereabout, please contact us or send us an email. Deputies responded to Red Eyes Dock Bar in Graysonville on June 16th earlier this year for a subject lying in the parking lot that was injured from an assault. Upon arrival, they found a victim. The victim appeared to be suffering from a broken leg. The victim stated that a fight had broken out inside the bar and that he and his girlfriend had been knocked down. They attempted to get out of the bar and get to their car. As the female was getting into the car, someone struck him from behind and several males began to kick and stomp him while on the ground. 
One report indicated that one of the male aggressors jumped from on top of the car onto the victim. The victim was transported by ambulance to Queen Anne's County Emergency Room and later transferred to shock trauma in Baltimore. Security at the bar, in cooperation with law enforcement, detained several possible subjects and deputies were able to get identification of the subjects who denied being in the altercation. Later, the sheriff's office received an anonymous tip saying a local subject was bragging on his Facebook page about beating up a guy at Red Eyes and getting away without being stopped by law enforcement. The subject was local and when deputies went to the residence, the subjects originally detained were there as well. After many interviews, reviews of various statements and video footage and tips from the public, warrants were issued for five individuals. Charges of first degree and second degree assault, disorderly conduct, reckless endangerment were issued for William Church, 28 of Stevensville, who is currently out on a $10,000 bond with a preliminary hearing date set for September 5th. Active warrants for the following white males. Jason Colby Calderon, 28 of Wilmington, Delaware, six foot two inches tall, 260 pounds. Casey Donovan Riley, 24, also of Wilmington, Delaware, 250 pounds with hazel eyes. Clayton Dennis Gebhardt, 30, of Middletown, Delaware, listed as six foot 180 pounds with blue eyes. Jonathan William Lanute, 28, of Wilmington, Delaware, six foot four inches tall, 265 pounds with blue eyes. The best thing these individuals can do before we come looking for them is to turn themselves in or make arrangements to do so in my office. This is one of those things where these people need to do the right thing and get this matter cleared up before we come knocking on their door. On August 29, 2013, here in Queen Anne's County on Cemetery Road in Graysonville, a group of men were sitting around and barbecuing in front of an abandoned trailer. At some point around 8 o'clock, an unknown subject walked up and began to fire several shotgun rounds, striking three of these men. All three incurred serious enough injuries that they were all transported to shock trauma. Now, Graysonville is a small community, and we know people have been talking. We're asking for the information to be shared for this case. While it may be common for shootings in Baltimore, it's not acceptable here in Queen Anne's County. And I'm personally asking for your assistance to help hunt down and lock up these persons responsible for this heinous crime here in my county. With all of our contacts on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, as well as our website, I'm asking everybody to take just two minutes of your time and share this link to all of your friends and family. These persons or person that were responsible for this crime in Graysonville are going to be brought to justice but we need your help to do so. As always, I appreciate all of your support in making Queen Anne's County a much safer place. Special thanks to the Queen Anne's County Commissioners, QAC TV7, especially you the viewer on Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.